Welcome to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be putting on a couple of catalytic converters. We got some little job to do here. Now the story on this is bank one, uh, which is on this side. Um, I put new oxygen sensors in all four. Uh, there's four of them here, uh, two on each side. And I'm still getting the last O2 sensor behind this uh, cat, on this uh, original cat, is still saying that it doesn't like what it's saying and uh one time before i changed out the o2 sensor and put a new one on it i actually did get a po420 for a cat but now since i put the new o2 sensor in it's still not running right and um i'm waiting for the uh, thing to come back on because i know this side is bad i've had a lot of experience with these catalytic converters uh bank two is okay but we're going to replace both of them here are the catalytic converters that I bought. I bought both of these for $160, free shipping. We'll open them up here in a little bit, but you get the gaskets, bolts, and everything with them. And uh, there they are. They are bolt direct to the vehicle. So I want to show you what I've done so far. Now, if you go back a couple videos, um, I did replace all four O2 sensors, and I showed you how to do the, how I did it anyway. So right now, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. And what my plan is, uh, the plan was to go ahead and just pull the catalytic converters, which are right, right down there, straight down and out, and separate them and put new ones on and bring them back up. Well, uh, on this side here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because there is a heat shield. I think you can kind of see it right about there. I think that might be a, just a little bit of a problem. Now, driver's side on this, it's not... I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but there seems to be a lot more room on this side. There's no heat shield down there, and you can see the catalytic converter there. I probably should be able to pull that straight down, but the downside of this side is it has a very long pipe that goes back to here on this side. And it bolts right to there. And the reason I bring that up is here's your transmission mount. So somehow if I can push it up and push it back down, I can get it past this. Now, one thing I'm gonna to have to do is pull this uh, center bracket here out. I did take a piece of two before. I think you can kind of see it right about there. I put it between the uh, transfer case and the main bracket there, the transmission mount. Well, that's a secondary mount, I guess. I don't know, there's two of them here. You got this one and you got this one. But this here is holding all this up, and this here is ready to come out, and I've only got one bolt left. Right here to take out, these are uh, 17, and there's two over 16. I put a little oil on them, they came right out, and the top of this appears you put a wrench up there. Oh gosh, let's see, where's my wrench? Well, there's the socket. The wrench may still be up on there, I don't know. Let's see, it, it sure is, right there it is. <laughs> kind of holding that from turning, and uh, that's how I've gotten those out. All right, so to back up a step or two, um, I'm kind of shooting this on my cell phone, so I'll try not to be as uh, jiggly, too jiggly anyway. I've gone ahead and pulled out the O2 sensors. Uh, I have a video on this too, how I got these out. Uh, basically, I could not get the old one out on the bottom, the last one. I destroyed it and used a special wrench that I made. Uh, but there are the two new ones that I took out. They were pretty easy to come out. So I got those out. And let's go back up under here again. Well, anyway, here are the two bolts that I took out of the cross member. You get some grease on them. They seem to come out pretty good. And uh, they were pretty easy to get off. On this side... All right, so there is the second uh, catalytic converter, but you can see up there, right up in there, that is the catalytic converter. Hopefully, we could just pull down. The reason I think I can pull this down, if not, uh, I may have to uh, take the manifold off up there and pull this whole piece off, is this one here is only connected right to here. So uh, when this bracket is gone, this will just pull right out. I could take my grinder tool and just cut these bolts off and put new ones in. So this side doesn't seem to be uh, too bad, but who knows? We'll see what we get into. But for right now, um, see those bolts right there? One right there. Get my camera to focus. And one right there. Uh, that's where that catalytic converter bolts onto this downpipe. Well, the problem is you'll never get those bolts off. I don't care who you are. 
you'll never get those off unless you have a brand new vehicle that has no rust on it and has never been driven because those things are on there for life now you could probably twist them off but once you get them off you're still going to have to figure out a way to get those bolts on there and there's no room so i think the best solution is is to pull this whole section off and bolt all that back together rather than either put it back up this way or slide it back down and bolt everything back together that's the plan so so what i've done so far uh this bracket here is ready to come off you can see it's pretty loose uh there you can see it's pretty loose now the drive shaft don't worry about that this is actually something i was doing earlier i pulled it loose uh when i tucked this uh catalytic converter off the uh, back O2 sensor there on the back side um, I actually just left this hang down because I had a I wasn't gonna put all this back together just yet I wanted to drive it for a while and verify that I'm probably gonna have to replace the catalytic converter so this is why this is kind of hanging down it gives me a little more excess here to get into this O2 sensor which is uh, you know well, there it is, right here so uh, I'm gonna take that out so, uh, but you can see on this side, uh, i got quite a bit of room, so I think this side here will come right out. But that's the plan. I'm going to let you guys know how I did it. If you have a way that you did it, you know, uh, more power to you. But this seems like to me it's a more uh, simple way to do it. Even on this side, if you look closely here, I get that little bit of light there. Let me see if I can block that light. See that bolt right here? There's a nut and there's one right there. These are not coming off. If, I mean, you could probably twist them off, but still you gotta get your hand up in there and put new bolts in. So this is why we're just gonna pull everything out as one piece. So if I can somehow get all this out, the pipe out and all that, I'll be in good shape. All right, so I'm making you guys dizzy here. So let me go up on top here real quick. All right, so we're back up on top here, and that is the plan so far. This side has a brand new uh, manifold on it. The other side, I welded it. It's got a couple of cracks in it, but I'm probably going to end up replacing it. So this job isn't for the faint-hearted. Uh, my advice is if you have to do this, you live in a state and you're getting a PO420, and you know your catalytic converter is bad, and you want to keep the vehicle, uh, maybe these tips will help you. The reason I'm doing it on this, you know, it's got a perfect body. The frame is in perfect shape. Uh, hard to find these vehicles that aren't rusted out and this is why I'm doing it so uh, I don't know and on this side uh, uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see the manifold are you? Uh, yeah you can see it you can see where it's been welded in a few places like ooh, right down there see how white stuff is in and very typical of these Nissans they all have that problem now the good news is uh, these bolts right there on the bottom right here with this uh, catalytic converter bolts up to the manifold these break loose real easy I got all mine off no problem uh, just put a half inch uh, breaker bar on there and they came right off and not weld them so but you can see you can see the ground on this side uh, this is the uh, driver's side and I'm hoping I can just unbolt these three bolts right there and just pull the whole sucker down and out but we'll see so that's what I've done so far so let me go ahead and uh, get these brackets off on the bottom I'll open these up here a little bit and show you guys go ahead and get this bracket here off go ahead and drop it out this one right here like I said I've got all the bolts out ready it's ready to come out and we'll go from there and see what happens all right boys and girls uh, I got the bracket out uh, I mean, just spend a couple minutes on this because uh, you will pull your hair out if you uh, don't pay attention here. I do have a small jack. Up under the transfer case, I push it up as far as I can go. I've got a block of wood right about up under there. If you can see that, it wasn't quite thick enough. But in order to get that bracket out, you have to uh, basically get this up as far as you can near the bottom of the transmission. And once you get all the bolts out, underneath here from the motor mount unbolt those get that off then you have two here you have to take off and this bracket will fall down you still can't get it off because this bracket's in the way this mount i should say so go ahead and take these other bolts out there's uh two there and two there uh this bracket will drop down then wiggle the bracket around until you can slide this out once you get this out then this bracket will slide out you can turn it at an angle and drop it down this motor mount, transmission mount, I should say, hits the bottom of this transmission. Doesn't give you enough wiggle room here to get this bracket up. 
but now you can see I can get to that exhaust right there I can cut those uh, bolts out see a lot of room over there like I said it'd be beautiful if I would just slide right out of there we'll see and for now I just got my jack here kind of holding up the transmission I'll put another block into there in a minute and on this side you can see I got lots of room here now and uh, this is the driver's side and I think this side will slide right down but like I said I'll have to come over here and get this hair cut off cut these bolts off and you got this little bracket here that kind of goes over so I'm going to try to figure out a way to get this out like that I think if I loosen the bolts up there on that end this three bolts and drop this down if I'm able to push it up far enough that'll allow this back here to come up far enough where I can drop it down out of here but I don't know we'll see uh, worst case then I may have to uh, put a socket on those three bolts there I can get the camera set up here for you guys so you can see and break these uh, just twist these three here off and just separate it there and, and pull the whole thing out so that may be another option at this point but for now we're gonna go ahead and work on that side over there I'll go ahead and cut those nuts off with a grinder and start taking everything apart oh the all the o2 sensors are off over there I just have this one here to take off. It's easy to get to. I'll go ahead and take it out. This is actually an old one I put back in. I was experimenting with it, but it's still good. Uh, this side here, uh, the field trim is like two. It's, it's, it's a, it runs really great. So uh, I'll pull these uh, O2 sensors out here. Then we'll go back on this side over here. Sorry about the camera spinning around. We'll start pulling this out. So hopefully this will help you guys out a little bit. Hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. All right, guys, uh, we're making some headway here. Um, I'm going to have to get my stool here and show you what's been going on and all that. Um, I got these uh, three bolts there off. Now, I made a mistake. You notice that one down there is kind of broke off, and the one underneath, there's a third one you can't see. I had a heck of a time getting that off. That's because of me. That was my fault. You got to be careful of these uh, stud bolts like this one here. It went on real easy and came off real easy. This one here, uh, I painted red. It went on okay, but I can tell this wasn't quite the right bolt, uh, the nut at the time. But as I started backing it off, the thread dug into the stud. And next thing I know, it was jammed. So make sure when you're putting these back on that you don't mix your uh, nuts up here. Uh, with other nuts, although they'll go on, if you got one that goes on kind of hard, stop. Because if you don't, you're going to get into the situation where you may end up actually breaking your stud. But uh, that's my fault there. So that took me a lot longer than I wanted to. In most cases, these studs, if you oil them up, they zip right off uh, the bolts and the, the, well, the nuts uh, on the studs there. So this is all loose right there. And underneath, I've taken a grinder. Folks, this is no joke. If you're going to use a grinder, make sure you have some. I use head. I use these guys because they're they're kind of noisy. Protect your hearing. I have glasses and I got gloves, and I got this little thin cutting wheel. And this has been wore down a little bit. You might get a full size one up there, uh, but I've got the two bolts. I cut them off. There they are. Come off on this side, and the one down on the bottom here, which is right there. It's snipped off. And you can see there's a gap there. This thing's ready to come off. So I'm hoping if I shake this enough, I'm going to have to probably use both hands. Well, apparently I don't have to use both hands because it just came down. Great. And I'm hoping that I can just slide this whole thing out, but I seriously doubt it. But that's okay since we got this hanging down now. We can actually get to our three bolts there on that catalytic converter and... I just may twist them off and uh, break them off. And uh, I don't think this is going to go upward, but I'm going to try to pull it up as one unit. But you can see it's uh, disconnected here. We'll have to replace these here. So this is how I've gotten this side off. And you can see there's the white pipe there. Kind of hard to, there we go, angle it there. So we're going to see what we can do here. There it is. So, uh, let me just see if this will come down here. I don't think it's going to set the light up. It's getting kind of late here. Let's see if I 
Yeah, see I'm pulling on it. It ain't gonna come out this way, so it's gotta come up or I've gotta separate that right there. So since this is not very wide, it may actually go up through there, but you know, I've been proven wrong a lot of times before. Let's go up on top here. And now this manifold here is real easy to take off. Uh, so, you know, I'm probably gonna have to pop this manifold off anyway. It'll give me a little more room to get this out of here because uh, I don't think I'm going to get this out of here because that cantilever converter is pretty big. All right, so let me fool around here and see what we got, but at least uh, that's off there. Also, guys, when you're uh, cutting with this uh, grinder, make sure you're well rested, that you can have a firm grip on it, and don't get your fingers, your hands too close to the blade. I usually hold it down low and take my second hand. And sometimes I'll put my hand on the back of this to kind of guide that in there because if this thing kicks back or something it could cut you pretty bad so just uh, so you know be well rested and take your time it took me oh gosh uh, to take these two bolts out probably four minutes per bolt there right here are the two that I cut off <laughs> so you know, they don't, they're not very thick but it takes a few minutes of concentration to get those off okay now let's continue all right, everyone, we're making some headway. I was going to go ahead and pull this manifold off, but as I've discovered, I think I'm going to be able to go ahead and pull this catalytic converter straight down. i got one more bolt to take out here. It's real easy to get to. I wanted to take it off anyway and double-check this uh, gasket on the manifold anyway. Real easy to take off. But if you come down here and look, this thing actually came down quite some way. Now, I've got my flashlight here. It's getting kind of late out here, but you can see... It's almost actually clear out of here. So let me pull in this some more. And if this comes out, this will be great. <laughs> all right, all right, that's great. So it does, you can take it out this way. And there's a look at it up in there, and there's the hole it slid through. See, I was worried about that heat shield right, right there. And there's a heat shield on here, so it takes up a lot of space. But the new catalytic converters don't have any heat shields on them, so I'm not worried, too worried about it. And uh, all we have to do is install it, and we're going to be good to go. And back up in there, I think you can see there's the back of the manifold. So I'm going to pull the manifold off. This manifold on this side is new anyway. So uh, you can get this whole unit out as one piece here. Once you take the bracket out underneath the transmission and take these two bolts off, hopefully yours is not rust enough. But if not, you, you might be able to twist them off. But once you do that, you can actually get this out. So let's go ahead and pull this out of here quick and uh, there it is factory and there's the uh, back of the bolts and studs and there's the O2 port and there's the back of the O2 port there so this actually might work out pretty good now I'll have to take my new catalytic converter over there and match it up see which one goes on this side and that'll be great then all we have to do is <laughs> bolt it back together we even have new bolts and everything with the uh, new catalytic converter i believe i'll open it up in a few minutes we can get this off just by pulling it straight out of there so that's great i haven't seen any other videos on youtube that actually tells you this so all right so let's see what else we can get done here all right so here is our cats they are out of the bag sort of these were made January 31st of 2020. You can see the date there. Now there are two different size cats. The one, the longer one, goes on the passenger side. And these are actually made by somebody called Laser Plus out of Canada. So uh, that's interesting. So what we got to do here is um, basically take the old bolts out of this here and put all this, put all this back on. But I want to make sure that this is the same length and everything. Looks good there. Looks good there, and our O2 sensors are in the same place, and I'm pretty happy. And one thing I noticed about these that I really haven't, did not notice until just now, which is great. See this right here? This one here has an adapter for that O2 sensor. It's like a secondary piece. Well, this one I don't have to worry about. I can just screw the O2 sensor right in there and be done with it. That's great. So all we got to do now is go ahead and... Uh, put this together i may go ahead and work on this side cut this off put all this back in here before we work on the other side that way i can uh, actually in an emergency if i have to move this thing i can still move it so i may go ahead and go ahead and put all this back together next so uh so far it's working pretty good but tomorrow we'll be back it's getting late 
and we'll start it tomorrow as uh, the day ends now. All right, guys, brand new day, and now we have got this catalytic converter cut off of this here. We cut the head bolts here off, just uh, cut them off there, and came right off. Notice where the exhaust kind of goes in on this side, how nice and clean it is. Hardly any black at all. Catalytic converter down there looks a little, uh, it looks pretty good actually. It's pretty clean, but on this side, it comes out pretty black. So I think we've got a problem here with our cat. And if you look closely, see those cracks down in there? So I think this catalytic converter has pretty much seen better days. So throw that off to the side. And we'll go ahead and bolt this one on. And with these here, you get new gaskets, bolts, and all that good stuff which is wonderful and the only thing I have to do here is turn this upside down knock these stud bolts out and once I knock these out I can go ahead and put new uh, bolts in and uh, this side here does not require a gasket which is good so we'll just clean this up a little bit and we'll put it back together so uh, looking pretty good put all this back together and we'll do that side and we'll hit the other side so let's go ahead and stick this on there all right, there she is. She's beautiful. All bolted together. O2 sensors are exactly where they should be. And like I said, I'm so happy that I don't have to deal with that adapter. My old O2 sensor screws right in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide this part up in there first. And I'm going to grab some old bolts and just kind of bolt this first. Then I can come up front here and uh, kind of grab that and guide that on the back of the manifold. And speaking of the manifold here... I got all my bolts back in. I didn't even take the manifold off because I remembered I put a brand new gasket on here. So I made sure the bolts were in. Everything's torqued down just like it should be. And we go ahead and slide this side up in there. So uh, let's go ahead and get this up in there. Well, uh, it looks like that plan's not going to work. Oh, by the way, I said earlier that the back of it didn't have a gasket. Actually, it did. It fell out on me. So there's a gasket we're going to be using in the back. That part. But here's the problem we got now. It's a minor problem. Pull this back out. I had it all up there, had it all together, and I could not get the catalytic converter to bolt on to the manifold. And I'll show you why here. Let's go inside here, take this inside. All right, so there we go. All right, now, so here is the old catalytic converter that we took off. Here is the manifold. This is a broken manifold that I had to replace. You see right here how smooth that is right there up and down and you notice on this Cali converter how nice and straight that is well this here is not quite as straight you can see it's got a little bit of a I can flip this around for you guys see this right here I'm gonna have to actually take a uh, cutting tool and just kind of smooth this down a little bit because this will not go on there and as you can see it's hitting Right there, and it won't let the, it's not lining those bolt holes up, which you know, uh, it's just a manufacturer problem that they didn't quite see, but that's not a big deal. So, what I've done, I've made a mark, which is right there. I just gotta trim a little bit off there, and to be fair, uh, that is how the other catalytic converter is. It's you know, see how straight that is there hold this up here you can see this is basically what I got to do so once we do that we'll be in good shape and then our gasket will fit on there and we can trim it all up and put it back together so uh, just beware if your catalytic converter is not bolting on to the uh, manifold then you actually might have that problem right there make sure that uh, it's not hitting up against the bottom of that manifold all right, so let's cut this off and put it back together. All right, how do you like those apples? It looks pretty daggone good. And now we're ready to bolt everything back together. All right, boys and girls, we got her on. Uh, everything's really loose right now. You can see I can shake all this. Put my hand down there while I actually do a better job under there. Uh, here's the, the brand new O2 tensile wire. Got it up here behind the heat shield. 
bolts were real easy to put in once I trimmed that piece off. And you can see I got a place to put my new O2 sensor in right there. And on the bottom here. I know some of you are going to complain about the shaky camera, but you know, I'm shooting this on my cell phone, so you just got to deal with it. So. And there's the O2 sensor. That's a brand new one. Do yourself a favor. Put the O2 sensor in before you tighten all this up because you, you get, still have some wiggle room here. And you actually can get your hand and wrench in there and tighten that down before you tighten all these other bolts up. And all I have to do now is go to the farm store, pick me out a couple of bolts for this. These are too small. And tighten everything down. And this side's done. So other than uh, trimming that a little piece on the catalytic converter, uh, you can get this side just completely pulled out and assemble it back together and put it back in. So uh, I'll go ahead and get some bolts. We'll finish this side up. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around in the video so far, this far. Uh, this side is done. Get all the bolts in. Uh, o brand new O2 sensors are in. Now, these two bolts here are easy to get to. The one on the bottom is kind of tight. Uh, you may have to take a break before you actually tackle it. But what I had to do, I think you can see it up in there. Let's see. I'll try to zoom in on it a little bit if the thing will let me zoom in. Let's see. I had to actually put a wrench in behind there and turn it like the wrench like at an angle like this. And it rested on the frame. Or if you have somebody else that can help you. Uh, that bolt there is a little bit of a booger to get in. But once I got it in, it uh, tightened up pretty good. And uh, we'll go around to the back here. Let me get the uh, camera to zoom back out. And as we look up underneath, you can see you got the uh, new O2 sensor right there in my hand. I don't think I'll be able to see it, but right there. That's all in. And here are my new bolts, and they're tight. And uh, this side's done, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But still, it's a little bit of a job to get uh, this side out. Because you got to do this uh, bracket here, you got to take this uh, transmission bracket out on the bottom here. Once you get it out of the way, and uh, kind of jack up your transmission put a jack there kind of hold it uh, then you're okay all right so this side's done and now we're going to go ahead and start on the driver's side and let's see what we can get done all right guys on this side on the driver's side we got things disconnected here uh, i got these bolts out here they came out fairly easy I've had them off before. Now, if you can't get yours off and you just don't, can't get the leverage up here because there's really not a whole lot of room, you may have to pull off your uh, air conditioning pump. I know, don't freak out. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just got four bolts here and you unhook these lines and loosen this belt up. And well, it gives you all kind of room in here to get a nice uh, breaker bar on these bolts down here. You could probably use a swivel, but this bottom one here, I don't know. But you can try what I did, use a propane torch, like I did in an earlier video. Heat these up a little bit, and you'd be surprised how uh, quickly they break loose. But anyway, okay, so we got that loose, and we got the back of it here cut. Uh, just like the other side. Sorry about the camera shaking. There we go, so we got that, and there's that, and... There's the other nut that we uh, took off. And uh, we got her dropped down to a point where it almost, <laughs> almost comes out. Not quite. You can see the front differential here. The, uh, right there. Okay, there we go. It almost clears it, but not quite. But that's okay. So what we're going to do, since we can get to these catalytic uh, bolts here, we're just going to cut these off. And separate it here and pull this out pull this here out and uh, clean this up then we'll take our new catalytic converter kind of put it up in here just a little ways and bolt all this back together right here and shove all of this up as one unit all the way back up in there and bolt it all together but anyway you can see that's been disconnected there the problem is this pipe back here is wiggly and it only goes back I can only get it go back so far and you got this frame here that, uh, boy, this, that would be a, a job to take out. It's actually getting hung up right here. So I can't turn it, spin it, or whatever. So we'll just cut these bolts off here off and uh, take them off right here. And one other quick tip. 
And of course, I'm going to be using my old grinding wheel. Now, your old wheels that you wear way down, you can still reuse these. You can actually use these to get into really tight spots because the bigger ones here, you can see sometimes they can be too big and you can't get into a tight spot. So this is why I always keep all my old wheels. And this is what I'm actually using to cut all these bolts off with because I actually have a little more wiggle room. And you can see all the various wheels that I keep, just in case, because you never know. All right, so we'll go ahead and cut this off and pull it apart. All right, so there's two so far, and yay, yay. Hot. So we got that one on there, that one there. Now we got one on the other side to do. And now, I've got to reposition myself and when you're doing this just think about the way you want to lay on the ground and all that good stuff if you're laying on the ground with your wheels up in the air but if you're fortunate enough to have a garage lift hey I'm sure your day's a lot easier than mine anyway so let's go ahead and knock this knock the uh, bell let's go ahead and knock this last one out and the hard part will be done then what we got to do is go ahead and put everything back together and bolt it and we'll be almost done All right, there's all three of them. So let's take a hammer and tap on it and separate it. All right. How about that crap? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Now, of course, um, my drive shaft was unhooked. I invite you to take your drive shaft out. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of write-ups on this drive shaft. Uh, if you notice right here, these bolts, these are diff very difficult to get off. I could not get these off. I actually busted a couple of wrenches, so I just tucked the caps off and slid this off the side with a bungee cord. So, uh, this is least of my worries right now. This will go back on last, but as you can see now, we got, uh, everything off. And, uh, let's go ahead and pull this out of here. All right, so here's our gasket. Uh, I, you know, I really love these gaskets, but you can see they actually break too. You can see there's a crack there, crack on that side. So I'll end up using the ones I got with this. And let's see, we'll have to do the same thing with this one here. I do believe we'll have to trim it a little bit. Yeah, see how square that is on the inside there. So we'll do that. And this here is in really good shape. And all we gotta do is put some bolts back in it. The other option was to cut it right here and put a sleeve here and put clamps on it. But, you know, it's kind of hard to get the, get the sleeve to slide back over this once you've got it all together. So, anyway, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get this together. All right, everyone. We are ready to go ahead and bolt all this back together. Now, um, since uh, the manifold I took off... Apparently was at so this could have been an aftermarket. I'm not sure but the one on the driver's side uh, This side here that I'm gonna put back on I didn't really have to cut this off like I did the other side But you know what I did it anyway I went ahead and kind of smoothed it up there on the edge Even though this one will fit on the other side there just fine uh, That manifold that's on the driver's side is actually a uh, original manifold and uh, for some reason uh, it fits okay Here's the cracks in this, and this is a, uh, I think, original one. I don't know, but um, I still had to trim up the other side. But anyway, just uh, so you know, you may have to trim this up just a little bit so it'll fit up snugly against the manifold. Uh, other than that, we're ready to put some bolts in it here. I'm going to go ahead and slide all this back into the car. We'll go ahead and figure tight everything and bolt everything back together, and we're going to be almost done here. So worked out pretty good. So let's go ahead and finish up. All right, everyone, finally, we got it all back together, 99.9%. .9%. The only thing I have to do, I dropped a bolt, something like that. I seen it go right down on the grass. I went down there, and I cannot find it. I spent 20 minutes looking for it. You ever have one of those days when you drop a bolt, and you see it, and you go to get it, it's gone? Well, that's my day. Other than that, uh, everything's all hooked up. I just got to put this O2 two sensor here. In right here but the, I want to make sure I get that bolt in there find that bolt first because I owe two sensors right there 
And uh, if we go underneath, we can see that everything is all hooked up. Transmission brackets back on. Wasn't too bad to put on. And we got new bolts and all that good stuff right there. And here is the front of the uh, driver's side catalytic converter. There's our new bolts and all that. So and our, we got four brand new O2 sensors on this and two brand new catalytic converters. So it should run quite well. If I could just find that bolt, I know it's here somewhere. It's not going to drive me crazy. I know it's here, but once I find that, put that in, then we take this for a spin. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my dry shift there for now. Then we'll hook all this up and uh, we'll be done. So I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, the other side, you know, you saw me put in it. It was pretty uh, easy to do. That side wasn't too bad, but this side here, you have to basically separate it, like I showed you in the video. Right about there, that works out pretty good. So. All right, so let's find this uh, bolt, and we'll take us for a spin and wrap this video up. All right, guys, check that out. No more check engine lights. We are successful in our job of putting two catalytic converters on here and getting it uh, running perfect. And, of course, this here is for this guy right here. It's going to have to be replaced. Now, here's my Inovia 6100P. This thing here will sniff out anything. If you have anything wrong with your vehicle, that one of these professional ones, uh, well, almost professional ones, if they are not detecting a code or even hiding a pending code, um, this thing here will find it. You have three lights. You have green, yellow, and red. For a long time, I had the yellow light. I had to switch out an O2 sensor that apparently I broke a wire in on the driver's side back O2. I kept getting a yellow light, then eventually a code came up. Uh, I think it was 1176 heated O2 sensor, so I replaced it. And now we have a green light, and this thing is running perfectly emission wise. And you can see everything here is in the green the evaporation of the, the evap system, the O2, the heater, the cats, everything, fuel system, it's running perfectly. So this is a really nice scanner. Um, it's kind of awkward to use at first, but once you get to uh, using it, it, it works pretty good. This one here, I'm pretty used to it. It finds a lot of stuff, but the reason I have this one here is because I can go in and find out my airbag and my ABS stuff here. The car is finished. I can't believe we got the cats on. Worked out good. It's idling perfectly. I gotta put my little shroud on. The AC works, I got it working. Uh, I didn't even have to put any uh, a vacuum on the system. I just dumped some Freon in it and it works perfect. Although this side here, for a while, I had a lifter that was ticking really loud. It's kind of gone away since I changed the oil. But other than that, uh, if I ever have to put lifters in, it's real easy to do. But you can see on the bottom, there's one cat down there. Kind of see it? In all its glory. And this one over here is pretty much got about 150 miles on it and we are good to go friends so i just wanted to wrap this video up let you know uh it was successful so hopefully this will help you in replacing your catalytic converters on your nissan xterra it's not a perfect video but you can see that all the things i went through in order to get that done so uh if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and thanks for watching guys and until my next video i'll see you guys later